I'm gonna kill it. What's up YouTube? So tonight we did our upper body push session which I haven't filmed before so I thought I'd do a quick cut just so you guys can see what we did and straight off the bat we went straight to the incline press and I just thought I'd go heavy tonight so we went with three plates aside, 315, 140 kilos. Just wanted to see where I'm at. I used to do this for like sets of six to eight many years ago. Decided that two was enough tonight. I was trying to get eight reps actually, four sets of eight. So what I did was I went straight down, just did a quick drop set, which I don't normally do. So it was kind of fun because um, going from 140 straight down to 100 or 315 down to 220, big drop. So I think I busted out like 12 reps here when I was really only supposed to do sets of eight. So directly after this, I went to uh, 120 and did four sets of eight with 120. So that first set there was kind of just testing the waters, just see where my strength's at. Haven't done an incline bench press in quite a long time, but this is my fourth week on this program. And in the first week, 100 kilos, which I just did right there in that video, uh, was kind of kind of hard. So to, to move that really easy was always a good feeling. It's progression. So we went over to the arm press right after that. Uh, the programming right now is supposed to be abs first, which we did do, and then incline bench press superset with band pull aparts. We don't have a band with us, so sometimes we just do like seated rear delt flies or we do like bent over rear delt flies. Today we just skip that completely because we do what we want and because we went heavy on the incline and because we're filming. So training actually takes a bit longer when you're filming, just so you know. But we went for Arm will press straight over to a pullover. My coach watched my previous video with pullovers in it and he told me to have my hips higher. So normally, I learned many, many, many years ago to have my hips nice and low to get a better stretch. But uh, he told me that having your hips higher is actually better for your lats. You get a better stretch for your lats, keeping your hips braced up nice and high. So I made that adjustment and um, to be honest, it didn't feel any different but I should have definitely used a heavier weight. I wouldn't say I was lazy, I was just a bit complacent with that one. Definitely should have went heavier. So we did four sets of eight with that super set, and then we came over to cable flies, or cable crossovers. And uh, this was the very first set, so I definitely added some more weight after this one. So this was way too easy for my chest. But then we go over and do some push-ups. And then we go straight into um, scarecrows, I believe they're called, which you guys will see in a minute. Basically, it's just um, the rear delt movement. So we did push-ups. These push-ups are supposed to be banded as well. I really got to start bringing my bands to the gym. But they did feel good. I'm definitely thinking about mind-muscle connection here. So just squeezing my chest on each press, and then straight over to these bad boys, which were uh, the weight was definitely too heavy for this. So I. I grinded it through, I got it done. Got all eight reps, but... The sets following this one went heavier for chest and went lighter for this movement right here. Training this week has been pretty good. Been really consistent, getting all the work done. Energy's been pretty good as well. I would say that Training at night time, like late at night, isn't really ideal for me. So I do feel it at times and it feels like training takes longer than it should compared to training early in the morning. But you know, we do what we need to do. This right here is a tricep and a shoulder exercise. So it's a big complex where we go from a easy bar skull crusher and then we change that over to a easy bar California press or it's kind of like a JM press in my opinion. To be honest, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but I looked up a California press and it looked very much like a JM press, which is what you can see right here, right now, where there's an extension and a press at the same time. And then I moved over to that close grip bench press to finish it off. Again, the weight could have been a lot heavier on this one. I'm just trying to feel, feel good, get that squeeze, go straight over to the dumbbells and bust out some lateral raises, some side raises for the delts. On this one we do 10 reps and then we go straight into a bent over side raise or rear lateral raise 
or Ray Delt Rays, I should say. Got to hit those Ray Delts. So we did four sets of eight for the tricep work and uh, four sets of ten for the, uh, the shoulder work. And that was pretty much it, that was our workout. So we did incline by itself, then we did Arnold presses superset with pullovers, then we did cable crossovers with push-ups and rear flies, and then uh, all that tricep work. And I just finished it off with a bit of posing. That's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching, make sure you subscribe.